still see the situation around you in relation to the demolition exercise that is currently going on? It's so bad. It's so bad. The whole, the whole thing is going. It's so bad. Let me say, giving somebody a week or two to pass on on a huge place like this. It's too bad. It's too bad. Okay, so actually you are given only two weeks to pack. Yes. Which is... Um, I, I don't think it's, it is right. Yeah. Two because weeks. Just two weeks. So, Just two weeks. So were you giving a notice? Yeah, in the we were form giving of a written yeah, we were giving a notice. Yeah, we were giving a notice whereby after the note was given to us, it was like you should get ready, time will come and you ought to demolish back. Here is the case, they came unexpectedly when they came to you were just, they were just demolishing everything just like that. Did they say it included buildings or it included only structures? When they came from the beginning, all what they said was the containers at the roadside are going to be demolished. That's what they told us from the beginning. But little did they inform you people that buildings will also be included? No, not until now. Okay, what is your message to Ghanaians? Oh, with me, what I'll say now is whoever wants to put a container or do or build or something, the person should get a permit. And with the right permit, you can challenge them. Okay, in relation to permits, yeah. uh, that means that uh, some of them don't have permits. Yeah, for what I'm saying, for what I'm saying, because if you should have a genuine permit, how can your building be demolished? If you should have a genuine permit, because before the permit is issued, they have to come around to check the place, examine the place, before giving you the permit. So after these four years and the permit has been given and just a day for someone to come and demolish the whole thing, it's so pity. Hmm. It's so, so bad. So, so bad. Hmm. How are you planning to handle your workers? Um, we interviewed a few moment, people. At the moment, I don't have any place to stay there. So we see what happens next. I don't have any place in mind as I talk to you now. So okay. we are in the hands of the Lord as I talk to you now. I don't know where to take them now. Okay, so what is your appeal to government? Oh, the government should come to our aid. That's what I can say. It should come to our aid. That's all.